I am Becca Rue. Thanks for watching Rue's Musings. This musing is called, We're Kind of All Effed in the Head. And I have a story about my realization of this. I was in Dallas visiting my brother for his baby shower, his wife's baby shower. Yay, congratulations! And I watched a video that's not circulating online right now. It's called Denali. And it's the story of um, a man and his dog. And the story's told through the perspective of the dog. And the man, Ben, is a photographer. And he goes through cancer and his dog is there for him. And at the end of his dog's life, Denali's life, uh, Ben asks Denali to stick it out for another month so that they can visit all of the places they've visited over the years and spend time kind of saying goodbye to each other. And it is truly just such a beautiful, moving, poignant, real piece of art that super inspired me. I was just like this, watching this video, I'm like, this is why we're here, right? This is truth and this is meaningful and just so powerful. I'm getting teary-eyed just talking about it. And while I was watching this video, a family member of mine was in the other room on the phone with the cable company. And while I'm watching this stunning piece of art about real deep connection, I'm hearing like, you got to do better than that. That's not going to work for me, right? I'll just fine, forget it, forget it. I'll just get off the phone and I'll call a different provider. This conversation that we're all really familiar with. And at first I get judgy in my head kind of rolling my eyes at my family member being like you're really missing the point here obviously because I'm I'm not missing the point because I'm watching this video and I know I know what the point of life is and you're clearly missing it and then my brain says like but you've been that person of course on the phone with the cable company as well you've been that person no different, right? No different, except that you're not watching this beautiful video about a dog that's just so amazingly poignant. And it made me realize that this is part of the dance that we're doing inside of our lives all the time. That we're aware, most of us, that we're here for connection and we're still, as, as my yoga teacher Jeannie talks about, we're still householder yogis, right? We're still householders. We still want cable or we still want television. We still want these kind of pleasantries or these escapes that we've come to expect, whether it's a martini or cable or shopping online or whatever it is. And it's easy inside of watching this video to poo-poo my family member for being so catty and for being so trivial, but we've all been that person. And her choice is honestly, right, to not have cable or right where the cable company, the whole structure of it is for them to take advantage of the people who aren't going to haggle. That's not the woman on the phone's fault, right? The cable provider on the phone. It's her company that if they can take way too much money from you, they will. So your only option is to haggle if you want the service and you don't want to overpay. That's just the truth. And how does it relate to this beautiful film, Denali, right? Other than to realize that each of us that we meet every day, myself, you, my family members, your family members, are all sort of tasked with this quandary, with figuring out how do you move around in the world? How do you relate to people in the world? Knowing that we're here to be loved and for the connection, the deep, meaningful connection and creative expression that we share with one another. And how do you still have cable, right? How do you still check out in line at the grocery store? How do you still do all the menial menial tasks that are the mundane tasks that life is asking of you? Because sure, there's an option for us just not to participate in that. That's true, right? We're all aware of that. You can just say, I'm gonna go live in a nurse ship, or I'm gonna go live in an ashram. I'm gonna remove myself from the householder, these menial tasks, but most of us don't. And so we have to figure out how to be compassionate inside of our own heads for the people who, for my family member, who in the moment is doing what, what they need to do. And it's not trivial and it's not meaningless and it's just what needs to get done, right? That's so clear for all of us that sometimes stuff needs to get done that isn't poignant and isn't moving and isn't beautiful. And we can move through those things from that perspective with the best of our ability. But we also have to really be compassionate that most of the time, right, if you're, think, think of the last time you were on the phone with a cable company, were you loving and graceful and, you know, having a meaningful connection with this person? I, I doubt it. Which is why we're all kind of effed in the head, right? That this is, this is what, why we're alive. 
to figure this out. How do you embody grace and connection and creative expression inside of being on, on the phone with the cable company? That's what I realized. And if you if you do it beautifully, you should you should write in and tell me tell me all about that. But otherwise, it's just like oh, this is a struggle for all of us. It's something that we share. Is that it's a struggle. And watch this movie Denali. You can look it up. Um, I'm sure online. It's so it's so beautiful. It's really worth your time. It's like seven minutes long. And I will see you next week. Bye bye.